Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. In this video, I'll discuss the most effective ways to prevent cataracts naturally. I'll discuss some of the latest research studies and give you tips on what lifestyle changes you can make to prevent the formation of cataracts. Before we discuss these tips, let's first review what cataracts are, what causes them, and how they can affect your vision. Here's a cross section of the eye. You can see that inside the eye is a clear lens whose job is to focus light on the retina. This image is sent through the optic nerve to the visual cortex in the brain, allowing us to see. The lens is made of special proteins called crystallins, which are arranged in a specific manner, allowing them to remain transparent so that light can pass through the lens. The lens also has large concentrations of antioxidant proteins, which hunt down harmful oxidative chemicals and neutralize them to prevent damage to cells. However, as we continue to age, these oxidative species build up, leading to damage and changes in lens proteins. The lens proteins then continue to accumulate in the lens cells, causing progressive clouding of the lens. This clouding of the lens causes scattering of light, which is responsible for many of the visual complaints usually associated with cataract, including blurry vision, decreased night vision, seeing glares and halos, sensitivity to light, and fading or yellowing of colors. Okay, now that we understand how cataracts form, you'll notice that a common theme in the next few tips are ways we can minimize oxidative damage and maximize proper functioning of our antioxidant system to prevent the formation of cataract. The first tip to prevent cataracts is to have a diet filled with foods that have certain antioxidants. A review published in 2019 looked at several different antioxidants and their effects on cataract formation. They found that vitamin C, lutein, and zeaxanthin were found to have a protective effect against cataract. Interestingly, these same vitamins have been shown to prevent the progression of macular degeneration and are included in the popular AREDS2 supplement given to patients with dry, age-related macular degeneration. Foods that are a good source of vitamin C include citrus fruits such as oranges, as well as peppers, strawberries, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Foods that have high concentrations of lutein and zeaxanthin include kale, spinach, broccoli, peas, and lettuce. So make sure to include these foods as a regular component of your diet. The next tip of prevention of cataract is long-term increased physical activity and exercise. Several research studies have found that consistent exercise is associated with a decreased risk for cataract. Other studies have also found that patients with obesity, uncontrolled hypertension, and diabetes are at an increased risk of developing cataracts. So exercise is important not just for your health, but also your vision. The recommendation for exercise I usually give to patients are the guidelines from the American Heart Association. They recommend to aim for 15 minutes of high intensity exercise five days a week. Some examples of high intensity exercise include running, jogging, or swimming. Another alternative is 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, such as a brisk walk, five days a week. The next way you can protect your eyes from developing cataracts is to wear UV blocking sunglasses. Exposure to UVB light has been associated with cataract formation. Usually, the cataracts we see that are associated with UV exposure are called cortical cataracts. You can see that these cortical cataracts look kind of like spokes on a wheel. They usually cause glare, which can be especially worse at night and when looking at headlights. So whenever you're going to spend an extended period of time outside or exposed to the sun, make sure to wear a pair of sunglasses. And when you are shopping for sunglasses, check the label. You want to look for 100% of UVA and UVB protection with your sunglasses. The next way you can prevent cataract formation is to wear eye protection. Trauma to the eyes has been shown to increase the risk of cataract. So when you're performing any higher risk activities such as using power tools, doing yard work, home improvement projects, or playing squash, make sure to wear eye protection like safety goggles or glasses. Unfortunately, I've seen many accidents and have had to operate on several eye injuries which could have been prevented with proper eye protection. It takes just a split second for a life-changing vision impairing injury to happen. The next thing you can do to prevent cataracts is to avoid smoking or to quit if you are a smoker. Several studies have shown that smoking cigarettes has a dose response effect on cataract formation. That is, the more you smoke, the more risk you have of developing cataracts earlier. Stopping smoking reduces the risk of cataract development and progression. And what about vaping? The effects of e-cigarettes or vaping on the eye are still actively being studied. Vaping has been associated in a few studies with dry eye disease, but it's still being investigated whether there's a link between vaping and cataract formation. So currently, the jury's still out on whether vaping can lead to cataract formation, although I wouldn't be surprised if future studies reveal a link between the two. More recently, eye drops containing anacetylcarnosine, such as Can-C or Oclumed drops, have gained popularity as a possible way to prevent cataracts. Anacetylcarnosine is an antioxidant protein, which in some studies have been shown to prevent and perhaps even reverse cataracts. That sounds great, right? After these studies were published, anacetylcarnosine eye drops were produced under the brand name Can-C, and the manufacturers claimed that these eye drops could reverse and maybe even dissolve cataracts. Unfortunately, a review of these studies revealed that they may have had some questionable methodology, especially since the principal researcher of the studies also happened to be the founder of the company which manufactured the drops. 
And unfortunately, there haven't been any other studies on N-acetylcarnosine that have shown similar impressive results. So with the current evidence that's out there, I don't recommend using these drops for preventing or reversing cataracts. So in summary, the best ways you can prevent cataracts are to have a diet rich in vitamin C, lutein, and c -xanthine. Exercise several times a week, don't smoke, and to use UV glasses and eye protection. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. But if you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more updates. And if you're in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want to get your eyes checked out for cataracts, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. See you next time.